In this video, we're going to be going over the sales for eBay in the month of December. We are hovering just around $20,000 in sales. But before we get into it, I just want to update you on what is going on in our warehouse. Oh, hey there. Yeah, so quick updates as to what is going on here. We are really just focusing on trying to get things organized, you know, getting clothes all stacked up for the following day, getting our photo station set up, making sure it's nice and prepped and ready to go. And then another thing too was getting these shelves set up so we could really be successful here on organizing all of our inventory and getting things put up on shelves in numerical order so we can find the orders when they sell. And the next project here, we'll be setting up more rows here. As you see, we got our shelf. We have eight of these ready to set up and put more rows on so we have more inventory here to list. This was from a bulk buyout I did last week. Um, paid about $1.50 per item. And it's just simple stuff like this, like Columbia. Simple stuff like Carhartt. North Face, Patagonia, Orvis, and the list goes on. Finding items that are in demand, especially in the clothing niche, you can find them. You just gotta do the due diligence to go and look for it. So I ask you, what are the things that you are working on in your business to help set you up for 2023? We're gonna jump into the computer here and see what has sold this month, and we'll be going over what changes we're making in our business to set us up for a successful 2023. Let's jump into the computer. All right, so let's take a look at the sales for the month of December and recap on what has been selling in our store and what things we are adding to our store to continue to grow our sales. So let's check out our sales report for the last 31 days. Here mainly covering December, we just reached about $20,000 in sales. We were in the process of moving this month, so that's why you're gonna see a lot of arrows pointing down because I did stop listing for about a week to be able to manage the move from point A to point B. And now that that is over, I am continuing to list every day to continue to grow our store and continue to be consistent with our sales. So we did about $20,000 in sales here. And you can see we sold about 638 items for an average sale price of $31.35, totaling at about eleven dollars to $12,000 net pre-tax and excluding cost of goods. So our selling cost was about $7,500, and this is gonna be things like shipping and eBay fees. And um, so you, something you gotta consider when you are selling on eBay is that there's eBay fees and that there is shipping. So you really need to know your numbers and track your cost of goods and how much you're exactly making per sale. Those are the two numbers that you really need to understand in your business going forward, whether you're starting on eBay or you're a veteran on eBay, you must know your cost of goods and how much you're making per item. Because that can be deceiving when you don't calculate the fees and the shipping and all the other charges that go into it. So let's get into the top sales for the past week. This first sale was a Gucci crossbody messenger bag. It was a coated canvas leather new with tags, part of that big storage unit buyout I did a couple months ago. This sold for $800 plus shipping. And, you know, I don't pick up, well, I don't pick it up because I don't find it. But at Gucci out there is one brand in particular that you really need to be aware of. Is it authentic? Is it genuine? Especially other high-end brands, Louis Vuitton, Amiri, you know, all these other luxury brands, they are highly, highly duplicated. And you really need to be on the lookout that is the stitching correct? Is this authentic? Because if you don't do that, then you're gonna be putting your account, your eBay account in jeopardy because they do send this to an authenticator to to make sure that it is directly from the manufacturer. And if it is not, then you're gonna get a defect on your eBay account. So always be sure that if I'm buying this Gucci handbag or am I buying this Louis Vuitton scarf, is it real? And if it's not real, you can use two things. The Check Check app, which you can download on your phone, I think it's about $20, and you can send off some pictures to get them authenticated, or you can just send your item into the real reel. 
and they are a service where they will just put your item up on the website they will authenticate it make sure it's real and then they'll cut you in about 50 to 60 percent of the sales that you don't really need to worry about affecting your ebay account so those are two options that you can look into and i just wanted to mention if you are just getting started on ebay and you don't know where to start and maybe you need a little bit of help and assistance you could check out the link in the description where i offer ebay coaching for just one dollar a day i work with you on a one-on-one -on -one basis monday through friday helping you put a system and a plan in place that helped me reach over a hundred thousand dollars in sales on ebay within my first year i help you with a reseller spreadsheet that can help track all your expenses and also helping you review your store if you have an ebay store now then i can review it and get you hitting the ground running on your ebay titles your pricing and as far as like what you want to be sourcing and putting in your store as you continue to grow so you can check out the link down below i'd love to see you there and I'd love to help you with your eBay goals. So this is the storage unit buyout where I got a lot of these items from. I found several Gucci items, but this one by far was the best, was that handbag. And amongst all this junk was the Gucci handbag. A lot of new shoes and whatnot, but yeah, you could see that this person just had a buying problem. And that is the really beautiful thing of buying in bulk really have money set aside in your ebay business so you are able to buy big purchases when they do come your way so the next item that we sold was a timberland jacket this is kind of like a uh, school letterman's jacket where it had leather sleeves wool on the inside and it was quilt lined so it was a very nice jacket. I had listed for $199, but I did take an offer of $115 plus shipping. Timberland is a very slow selling brand for me. It doesn't sell very well. Most, notor most notably, they are known for their uh, Timberland hiking boots, hiking shoes, outer wear. Um, every, seems like every category with Timberland uh, is slower selling unless you can find maybe some vintage Timberland. But yeah, this jacket had been posted for about four months and it sold. Uh, so, uh, September 27th is when it was listed. So if you wanna pick up Timberland, make sure you check the sell-through rate because you might be holding on to a long tail item. Next up are these Adidas Superstar vintage new in box shoes, um, part of that storage unit buyout. Anytime you see Adidas Superstar, shoes while you're out sourcing are typically a good pickup they have a slower sell through rate but if you can find them between two and five and seven dollars the used versions can sell typically between 30 and 50 dollars depending on what variety you buy so check that out adidas always a solid brand for me when i go out sourcing i typically always pick it up so next up is pendleton you should be picking up pendleton vintage Pendleton in particular, but Pendleton is a great brand that I find very often where I live in the Pacific Northwest. This is just a new with tags, flannel, wool, uh, button up shirt. It sold for $100 plus shipping, $103 plus shipping. And this was a men's medium, new with tags. Trying to get you some more info here. But yeah, so Pendleton button-ups, Pendleton watches, Pendleton belts, Pendleton beanies, they sell well. Especially if it's wool, and they typically make wool blend varieties. But Pendleton, always a good brand to be picking up. A lot of underwear found in these storage units, new in box, ranging between 1999 and 2010. Um, a lot of Calvin Klein new in box underwear. And what I've been doing is just lotting them up in bundles of six and just listing them because I don't want to sell each individual item. I'd rather just get them out in bulk. So if you can find new in box, Calvin Klein, um, pick it up. They've been selling really well. This was 2008, new in box. Next up were these DKNY pants, cargo, more of like a canvas uh, military style pants sold for $39 plus shipping. DKNY, I pick it up. I like the brand, not the highest sell through rate, but you are gonna be finding some more quality items when it comes to the brand DKNY, wool, silk. You just really need to be on the lookout on what is the material when I'm looking for this brand and is that category within this brand selling well. So always check that before you make that big purchase. These Palladium 
canvas boots sold. I had a couple other of these brands um, where they were more casual shoes. Took a little longer to sell, but these boots sold pretty quick. I listed them on the 18th of December. I took a best offer of like 60 bucks plus shipping. If you ever see Palladium, that brand there, um, pick it up. You know, they sell really well. Um, this was a men's size nine. This sold within two weeks. It was new in box, but if you do find Palladium out there when you're sourcing, double check the comps, make sure that it is going to be a good purchase for you. Jack Spade, I mentioned this in another video, Jack Spade or Kate Spade. You wanna be on the lookout for those brands. They do sell well, more high-end luxury brand. I have found a lot of messenger bags, canvas bags, totes in that brand of Kate Spade or Jack Spade. And these are new tags. So this one sold, I think I took a best offer about $60 plus shipping. And this is just a simple tote, a flannel wool tote that sold really quickly, sold it on uh, within three weeks, listed it on the 9th. And you just wanna be on the lookout when you're t looking at the tags, when you're at the bins, when you're at the outlet, or when you're at um, the thrift store, just make sure you're looking out for things like Jack Spade, Kate Spade, John Varvatos, those higher end brands where maybe their tags or their logos aren't sticking out as much. So yeah, this is just a simple tote, plaid, sold really well. I wanted to go over some of the sales for like what categories we're selling. And we're selling, this month we sold a ton of men's sweaters. We sold $2,100 worth of men's sweaters. We sold $1,800 worth of men's jackets and coats. We sold $1,700 worth of men's pants. And we sold $1,700 worth of men's jeans. And at the end of it, $1,300 worth of men's casual button down shirts. So getting back into what has been selling, I really just want to make known that you really need to be persistent in what you are looking for when you're going out sourcing. If you have a good sourcing method, it's time to sharpen those skills. It's time to go all in on eBay. When everyone thinks there's a recession, it's only in your mind because in recessions is when some of the biggest opportunities can occur. So I tell you this, don't go out spending big and living large in 2023. Maximize what you have now. Manage what you have now and you will be surprised on what happens in your business. So I'd say reach out in the comments down below and I'd love to help you. If you want to know more about what is selling in our eBay store and how we go about sourcing items, you could check out this video here where it goes more in detail on how we find our items and what we find and what we price them for. I love y'all and I hope y'all have a blessed day. Take care.